While the craft can be practiced without tools, most witches will want at least one or two. Of these, the chalice is probably the most important, for while you can improvise many things, some kind of vessel to hold wine, juice, or water is fairly necessary. In the craft, the chalice is not just a tool to hold liquid for enacting the rite of wine and cakes, it is also the symbol of the goddess. In the great rite, it is actually the symbol of her physical body, and the wine it holds becomes a promise of new life. The chalice is also symbolic of the goddess as wise one, <coughs> where it becomes the cauldron where the magic of inspiration and knowledge is created by the goddess Caridwen. In today's craft, the chalice can be made of many things, ceramic, stone, wood, metal, or glass. It can be highly decorated or plain and simple. It may have been specially made for the craft, or it may be an ordinary glass selected for the purpose. It is usual for every witch to have his or her own personal one. In addition, where there is a group of witches who meet regularly, there is usually a communal chalice, often somewhat larger to avoid frequent refilling. Whatever kind of vessel is chosen, it should be kept aside for da from daily use and used only in magical workings. Mm -hmm.